I love Brother Josh and Sister Lindsay. I love this couple so much. You're a beautiful couple, not because that you look nice today, but you're a beautiful couple because you've done it right. Falling in love is not so hard. Matter of fact, it's kind of easy. You see someone you like, your palms get sweaty, a lump comes in your throat, your heart starts racing. You're in love. Staying in love is a job. That's why they call it a charge. In just a few moments, Brother Taylor's going to give the wedding charge. It's a lot to that word charge. It's because there is a charge in love in more ways than one. When you say I do to each other, you say I don't to a lot of other things. You know, this culture has adopted this little phrase that says free love. Man, that's a false statement, isn't it? Love is anything but free. There's a charge in love. That's why they say you have to spend time together. And I would encourage Brother Josh and Sister Lindsay to spend time together. Make memories together. Laugh together. Live life together. Enjoy the ministry together. And if you'll spend and invest in each other, I guarantee you, you'll have a happy home where God's blessings will be and God will put his favor upon your life. And so today, I just want to say that I'm super proud of both of you guys. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may now kiss your bride. Prior to your dad's passing, Josh, I sat in the back of the church in those red chairs with him. And he said, um, would you watch out for Josh if something ever happened to me? And shortly after that, Josh, your dad passed. And I want to tell you something, Lindsay. I've done my best to honor Brother Darrell Rogers' request of me. I'm going to ask you if you could take care of Josh. Love him and care for him. I know he's going to love you and care for you. I believe that as well. You guys are going to make great Christian examples. I love you. And I believe in you. Loyal, charming, good looking, rugged, but enough about me. Josh, I just want to say that I love you. It's been an emotional day. I think even the cake is in tears over there. It's been awesome. You're a great friend. Lindsay, love you. <laughs> <laughs> Still don't know how Josh got you, but love y'all. Great friends. Hope for the best. I'm gonna talk about my sister. If you know her on a really personal level, you know how loyal she is, how patient she can be, how wonderful, <laughs> wonderful she really is. Whenever she walks into a room and she smiles, she lights up the entire room and she just brings joy to everybody who's around her. Whenever she first met Josh, I was kind of there whenever they got introduced 
And she walked away and she said, I don't like him. <laughs> she said, I don't like him. And she kind of held that for the past four years or so while I was at school. <laughs> but um, I'll never forget the night whenever she told me that she was maybe a little bit interested in him. I can take you to the spot in Bristow in the Taco Mile drive through We were sitting in my car and I said, you know what? I could see that happening. I could see that. And she was like, what? Really? I mean, the shock on her face was very genuine. She didn't think that I would be for it, but I 100% was for this from the beginning. And I know that Josh is going to be the person who will absolutely take care of her. And I couldn't have asked for somebody better for my sister. And I'm so incredibly happy for them. So thankful that he's in the family now. And my brother-in-law is now the, the myth, the man, the legend, Joshua Darrell Rogers. <laughs> Congratulations. Josh, sometimes you just really fill up my heart. I love you because you're my uncle and you're the best uncle I ever had. And I love you. Lindsay, you're gonna be a great aunt. And also, you're, you're in the hands of, her, of a good guy.